Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Tim. How you doing? Good doing to see well. you. Doing well. Good to see you. All right. Greetings, and welcome to Bauer Compressors Manufacturing Facility in Norfolk, Virginia. My name is Joe Lyons. I'm one of the regional sales managers here at Bauer Compressors, and I'm proud to say I'm in my 28th year with the company. And I'm Tim Burgess, Northeast Regional Sales Manager. I've been in this business for over 25 years and with Bauer Compressor for eight years. Today, we are coming to you from the Bauer Compressors Technical Evaluation Center, where we will be talking to you about the operation of the Unicus 4i breathing air system. Tim, today we will provide our distributors a step-by-step -step instructions on how to operate the Unicus 4i. Is that correct? That's right, Joe. When we're done, the distributor will feel confident in operating and teaching their customers how to use the Unicus 4i like a pro. When you order a Unicus 4i with the RFID data logging system, an account is created by the Bauer Order Processing Department. An Excel spreadsheet is then sent to the fire department requiring the following cylinder information. The cylinder serial number, cylinder born date, last hydrostatic test date, max pressure in PSI, if the cylinder is an SCBA or a scuba cylinder, and your asset ID will be automatically assigned to you via the Unicus 4i website program. Note, if you remove a cylinder, the unique identifier number cannot be reused. After the spreadsheet is populated, the fire department will email their spreadsheet back to Bauer Order Processing Department, which will be uploaded to the password-protected Unicus 4i website. Now that we have that information uploaded to the website, let's get started. After applying a power source to the system, the HMI touchscreen will energize. When the system is energized, the administrator can enter authorized users and individual passcodes directly from the Unicus 4i or the Unicus 4i website. You can then use your passcode or key fob option to access the system. Let me demonstrate how to add a user via the key fob option. In the home screen, select personnel from the menu. Enter the user's personal information below. As an example, badge number, given name, family name, member of users. Scan the key fob tag on the holder and press the button highlighted. The tag is registered to the user at this point. Click the save button. Now you can log out of the machine. Once the passcode is accepted, you can add authorized users to the system via the HMI touchscreen. On the home screen, you can add personnel by tapping the personnel icon. In the personnel menu, tap add new icon and fill out the necessary information on the screen. After completing this step, tap the check mark icon to save the data. Tim, we know you can add users, but what happens when a user leaves the fire department or moves on? Can you deactivate that user? Joe, yes, that is done via the Unicus 4i website or the touchscreen on the UN4i system. Let's go ahead and demonstrate that process. Select the user you wish to delete. Press the delete icon. This will permanently deactivate the user. However, all reports pertaining to this user are accessible on the Unicus 4i cloud. Okay, the fire department has sent in their SCBA spreadsheet, which has been uploaded to the Unicus 4i website. How do they add more SCBAs in the future if they want to increase their inventory? Joe, the fire department can add the new SCBA cylinders directly from the Unicus 4i system. Let's demonstrate that process. On the home screen, tap the cylinder icon. In the cylinder menu, tap the add new icon. Enter all necessary information required on the screen. After completing these steps, click the check mark. This will save the data. Now that we have our authorized users entered and our SCBA inventory loaded on the Unicus 4i website, we can start synchronizing the two using the HMI touchscreen. Remember, this is the only time we need to synchronize the SCBA cylinders with the information on the website. To initialize the synchronization of the SCBA cylinders, insert the SCBA cylinders and close the fill station door. Select the serial number on the SCBA from the drop down menu on the touch screen. Hit start. This will pair the RFID tag with the SCBA cylinder. Continue this process until the SCBA inventory has been logged into the Unicus 4i system and website. Place the SCBA cylinder into the fill station. 
Joe, this cylinder goes into the UN4i just like it goes into the UN4S or any CFS system. You simply put your cylinder in, you're gonna attach your coupling nut assembly to your cylinder. From there, you're gonna close your bleeder, open up your cylinder valve, and you can start that filling process. The Unicus 4i will read the cylinder's RFID tag information and identify the required fill pressure. Select the fill icon and the Unicus 4i takes it from there. The panel fill lights will illuminate when the filling is in process and extinguish when the filling of the SCBA is complete. Remove the SCBA and place it into inventory as a full cylinder. Tim, what if we have a cylinder that has expired? Can we permanently remove that from the fire department's inventory? Joe, unfortunately we can't, and really we don't want to. That cylinder, as it's expired, is still part of their inventory. If we delete the cylinder, the fill history associated with that cylinder gets deleted as well. To uphold all NFPA rules and regulations associated with that, we must keep that cylinder documentation in the system. However, the Unicus 4i does not fill expired cylinders after their last hydrostatic test day but the filling report for those expired cylinders will still be available. Tim, I don't know about you, but sometimes I get asked if the Unicus 4i can fill three different pressures simultaneously. And the answer is yes. Let's say you have 2216, 4500, and 5500 in your three fill positions. The system will fill all cylinders to 2216 and then close an internal fill valve to position one and continue to fill position two and three to 4,500 PSI. Once that's concluded, the internal valve will then close to position two and continue filling position three to 5,500 PSI. Joe, how does the customer know once those cylinders are actually filled? Good question, Tim. They know because the fill lights on your panel will extinguish, letting the operator know that the fill process is complete. Now, with that being said, I recommend filling the same pressures not mixing cylinders with different pressures. It's just a better practice. It is a better practice. What about filling SCBAs that don't have an RFID tag, given the fact the Unicus 4i here is set up with an RFID read? Can they read other SCBAs without RFID tags? Yes, you can, Joe. You can absolutely fill SCBA cylinders without an RFID tag. The user must manually type the fill pressure if it is not a standard pressure or select the fill pressure from the drop down menu. Then hit the go fill icon. Let's discuss the remote fill option. You first need to touch the remote fill icon on the touch screen, then choose the remote fill pressure and hit the go start filling icon on the HMI touch screen. Once it achieves the selected pressure, it will go into standby mode. It doesn't turn off. Before disconnecting the hose, the compressor must be turned off. After the unit is turned off, you need to bleed the excess air from the hose before disconnecting it from the in-station or onboard cascade storage cylinder. Joe, let's talk about accessing reports. Each UN4i has a minimum of one admin user. The admin user can access most screens. However, the setting configuration related screens are only accessible by Bauer personnel. To access reports, click the reports icon, then choose what type of reports as needed. For example, select reports, then alarms, then all. Now that we have access to the reports, how can we download them onto a flash drive? Joe, the first thing you want to do is plug an empty USB drive into the USB port located at the left corner of the HMI panel, just like the standard USB drive that you have. On the home screen, tap the admin icon. In the admin menu, tap the personnel icon. In the personnel menu, tap the save to USB icon once. This will automatically save the user data to the USB flash drive. Once the data is downloaded, a message saying USB file export successful will pop up below the screen. So Joe, what if we have a power outage and we can't fill our SCBA cylinders, the touchscreen panel is down, the backup generator maybe in the department hasn't fired up yet, and we need to fill our SCBA cylinders. How do we go about doing that? Good question, Tim. Bauer Compressors has incorporated a manual bypass system behind this valve with a simple Allen key. You will have your inlet pressure from the stored air in the back, 
your regulator, your fill pressure, your each individual fill valves to each SVBA fill position. So no matter if it's a total power failure, the fire department's generator is not working, they will always have access to the stored air in the back of the Unicus 4i. Joe, that's great that Bauer has that system in there. It gives the fire department the backup and Bauer has that customer's back. So no matter what the situation is, power or no power, you're still gonna be able to fill SDBA cylinders. This concludes the operational video of the Unicus 4i. I'm Joe Lyons. And I'm Tim Burgess. We hope you found this video not only informative, but educational as well. On behalf of Bauer Compressors, take care and be well.